hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel good to see you back in this video we'll talk about microsoft sentinel workbooks microsoft sentinel workbooks are primarily used for data virtualization purpose all the data that we have in microsoft sentinel we can virtualize the data we can monitor the data these workbooks are kind of a dashboards and these are predefined dashboards that we can use. The best part is that as per our requirement, we can create our own workbook also. So without wasting any time, let's start with Microsoft Sentinel workbook. To see the existing workbook templates and to create a new workbook, let's go to Microsoft Sentinel. Click on Microsoft Sentinel. Let's hide this one. Now click on workbooks under threat management. So as of now, we don't have any workbook that we have created or that we have saved. So under save workbooks, we'll see zero because we don't have any workbooks created. But under templates, we can see 136 total templates for workbooks which means we can use any of these templates and we can save these templates for a uh, future purpose. So let's see what all templates that we have and how we can use these workbooks template. Search with Azure. So here we have Azure AD sign in logs, okay? So let's select this, click on view template. So if you recall, we have configured data connector for Azure Ready, and that's the reason we have all those sign-in logs available. So here we can see all the detailed information regarding the sign-in. So this is sort of a dashboard, which we can use this template we can configure, and we can save the template when we are configuring the data connector. So as we have seen this template, so let's see that how we can save this and how we can use them so when we are configuring any data connector so let's take an example we'll talk about azure active directory this is already connected so click on this click on open connector page so out here if you recall we have selected the option for sign-in logs and for the audit logs and then we have click on apply changes so at the same time, we can click on next step or on the left hand side, we can see an option of eight workbooks. When we click on this eight workbooks, it will actually take you to the next step. And out here we can see the eight workbooks that we have. So these are the workbooks that we can use. So take an example. We wanted a workbook for Azure AD sign in locks. So click on it. It will take you to the same template that we have seen earlier. Now click on view template. So here we can see the template and it is showing detailed information about the sign in logs. So here we can see the total number of users who have signed in in the last few days. So all that information is what we can see. We can change the settings as per our requirement if we want the time range to be changed from 14 days to last seven days, we can change that. We can change the apps, you can change the username prefix. So here we can see some of the prefix like for the user. So we can change that also. Here we can change the username. So here we can see all the users. If you only want to report for one or two single users, then you can select the same. So as per your requirement, you can change the username and you can select the user for which you wanted to see the report. And under category, you can see whether you wanted to see sign-in logs or non-interactive user sign-in logs. So you can see all that information. If you scroll down, we can see total sign-ins, we can see the success, we can see the failures, we can see the pending action. So that level of detailed information is what we can see. Now, if we scroll further, we can also see the region 
or the location from which user is trying to log in. So here we can see that user is trying to log in from Australia and Blacktown is the place. And here we can see the failure count, interrupt count. And on the right hand side, we can see detailed information of these failed counts. So if you scroll down, we can see information that for how many users uh, the sign in was failed and what was the status of sign in failed. Now, if we further scroll down, we will also see the information of the user device that user is using to log in. So here we can see that we are trying to log in to Azure portal from Windows 10 and we are using Edge browser and we are also using Chrome browser. So here we can see that from Edge browser, the failure count is 12 and interrupt count is eight. Whereas from Chrome, the total sign in count is 13, but the failure count is zero. Now if we further scroll down, here we will see information about the conditional access. So as of now, the conditional access is not configured. So it shows that it is not applied. So required MFA, it gives you that information also that whether it is required or not. If it is disabled, it gives you that level of information. On the right hand side, we can see the application to which user is trying to log in. So that level of detailed information we can see here. So troubleshooting sign in, success 19, failure 12, eight is pending action. And even we are getting the error codes which user was getting when the user was trying to log in. So here we can see that account is locked because user tried to sign in too many times. So it happened three and we got invalid username and password also. So these attempts we have made intentionally so that we can see these error messages. On the right hand side also, we can see the error codes and the detailed information about the user also who was trying to log in. So we have used one single user, TU03, to log into Azure portal. And deliberately, we have passed on the wrong credentials so that we can get all these error messages. So now on this page, you can see that we have so much of information, so you can use this information as per your requirement. Okay, so we have seen that on this page, we have a lot of information available, which we can use as per our requirement. Now let's close this. And out here, when I click on save, it will ask me where exactly we wanted to save this workbook. So we'll save this in Australia East. I'll click on OK. So the moment we click on OK, so now, we will see this workbook is saved under saved workbooks. Okay, so let's close this. Let's close this. And now go to workbooks. So here under saved workbook, we can see one book is saved. So when we click on my workbooks is where we can see this workbook. So in future, if in case you wanted to create more workbooks, then go to template. And from here, whichever workbook that you wanted to configure, just search for that. Let's take an example, we search for Azure again. So out here we can see multiple different options. So take an example if you wanted a workbook to be created for Azure AD Locks. So click on Azure AD Locks. Click on view template. So here we are getting the detailed information that we have added member to a group. We have added a user. So if we expand that, we can see that who added the user. So Techie RK3003 is a user who has added another user, added the group who added that. So that level of detailed information, that level of auditing is what we can see in the template. And these are the predefined templates, so you don't need to worry about at least anything. And here we can see the success also. We don't have any failure at this point of time, so that's the reason we don't see any failures for Azure audit logs. But if in case you have any failures, you will also see those. So now if in case we wanted to save this workbook, 
we need to follow the same steps which means out here we need to click on save so let's try saving this one click on ok now we will see this is saved under the saved workbooks so now we can see two workbooks are saved but one thing you need to ensure that you need to establish the data connector and you should have some data in Azure Sentinel to see that data populated in the workbooks. If you don't have the data in the Sentinel, you will not be able to see any data in the workbooks. So let's take an example. If I again scroll down and go to Azure Key Vault. So let's select that, click on view template. So we don't have any data for Azure Key Vault in Sentinel at this point of time. So that's the reason we don't see any data out here. The prerequisite of Azure Sentinel workbook is that you need to have data available in Log Analytics workspace, which is linked to Microsoft Sentinel. If you don't have data available in Log Analytics workspace, then we will not be able to see any data in workbooks. So let's close this. I hope you have learned something from this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Bye friends, keep smiling, have fun.